What's up, everybody? Welcome back to the channel. Today's episode, today's video is going to be quite a long one. I decided to erase my entire Cyberpunk 2077 game and to reinstall it. And unfortunately, I had to get rid of all the mods. So I am literally literally starting from scratch so if you want stick with me and let's mod cyberpunk 2077 step by step together i'll show you how i do it it's very easy and this video is mainly for any newcomers out there who don't know exactly how to mod this game and what they're doing so yep this video is for those kinds of people so stick around if you want follow along or I'll leave a timestamp in the video as to where you could jump to if you just want to check out the gameplay video all right with that being said let's do this start from scratch First thing is first, I am going to install the main mod, which is the most important one for me, is the VR mod. It's by Luke Ross. You have to pay roughly around $10 and become a patron on his Patreon, and you have access to all his mods. Mods for games like Ghost Runner, Stray, which is his latest games, Ghostwire Tokyo. It's about to say GTA 5, but that's I don't think that's supported anymore because of Rockstar and Take Two Interactive being uh, being pricks. Uh, he still supports uh, Horizon Zero Dawn, um, Cyberpunk. Elden Ring, Dark Souls, Final Fantasy VII Remake, and uh, I think that's about it. Yeah. Uh, Mafia, it's gone. I still have them. Um, I still have them installed, actually, but I haven't played those games in a while. And I just kind of lost interest, especially after that whole debacle with uh, those companies. I just kind of said forget it red dead redemption 2 i still have it but same thing uh it's just not he's not supporting anymore because he he got into some uh he got into some issues with them copyright stuff all right uh let's do this uh what am i looking for uh the cyberpunk mod but i think i can just use see the cool thing about his mods is they support all of his games so it's just one particular mod so i believe this is the latest one the ghost runner and stray one i think i can just i hope now i hope uh i can just click and drag this particular mod into the folder and by the way for all of you who don't know it's whatever your game is installed on it's steam apps common cyberpunk 2077 and you go into bin and this folder x64 and here it is the vr mod version 8 and uh, you just unzip it as simple as that and that's really it um it's installed already so i can just get rid of the actual mod or the, the zip and what you're gonna want to do after that is you have to run the real config BAT which I'm doing now and it's gonna fix the yeah it works it's gonna fix the the file structure and it's all done I can exit now you can leave it like that if you want if you got a strong GPU but me i have a very weak crappy gpu so what i like to do is i like to 
drag the fidelity fx however you know what i'm not going to do that quite yet i'll do that last i'm um, i just want to see what the game looks like actually without that mod first because it already has uh, the game itself now um cd project red put in a, uh, a fidelity fx uh option or parameter inside the game so i have it adjusted to ultra so i i think i'll hold off on that and if I don't get the desired performance, then I'll go back to that. So, yeah, that is it for that mod. And you have to go back into the main folder, which is the Cyberpunk 2077. And you should see Archive, Bin, Bonus Content Engine, Mods, R6, Tools, blah, 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 blah. Uh, this is the main folder where you're going to work from. And with the DLC, the red mods, CD Projekt Red was gracious enough to implement that into their game, which is a free DLC by the way, and as soon as you add it, you will get a folder called mods. And before I forget, I'm going to go into the cache, and it's important, go into R6, cache, and make a small folder called modded because i mentioned in my previous video that it took me a while to figure that out and thank god i came across the forum on nexus and a user was awesome enough to mention that so i, I was going friggin crazy berserk having a having a a literal hairy conniption because i couldn't figure out how to how to get the, the gander run but yeah it, it was really that that simple all right so next on the list i'm gonna install the base mods that i need first and i'm gonna test the game out and then from there then i'll add more subsequent mods um throughout the throughout my my tutorial but for now the main one i'm gonna need is the uh the what is this the cyberpunk tweaks or whatever it's called what is this called cyber yeah cyber engine tweaks um, my internet's slow shit yeah the, the cyber engine tweaks i'm not gonna bother adding any nsfw stuff Ooh, appearance menu mod. I'm gonna, definitely going to need this. Let me, let me download this before I forget. Yeah, the appearance menu mod is pretty important. So I don't know if I'm going to add this other stuff. I'm just going to add, yeah, the appearance menu. Cyber engine tweaks. Custom, what is this? Custom appearance menu mod 4K texture for Pan Am. This file contains a 4K texture with pubic hair for Pan Am's body. This will own this will work only if you have uh, the appearance menu mod Pan Am's body installed. Uh, I don't know. Judy Clubwear outfit. All right, you know what? I'll just I'll just download it just in case. Judy's clubwear outfit. All right, first things first. Let me. I'm gonna install the preliminary stuff. Okay, uh, Cyber Engine Tweaks is right here. I'm just I have all these uh, downloaded already uh, on a backup drive, but I you know. I just rather just uh, download download them fresh, make fresh downloads, so um, you know I can be sure that they're they're completely up to date. So I don't want to unzip anything. I'm too lazy. I'm just gonna I'm just gonna click and drag. I'm gonna go through this very quickly. And that went straight to bin. Let me make this a little wider. I don't want to drag folders inside other 
boulders that I'm not supposed to. All right, game version done. I'm going to erase it now. Native settings UI, very important. See what I'm doing here? It's very easy, just click and drag shit. Native settings done. Red for EXT. Highlight both of these, click and drag. There we go, and it made its own folder. Race, red script. Yeah, I, I gotta admit, this game is probably one of the easiest games in terms of modding that, I, that I've ever come across. Well, it's one of the easiest. The Witcher 3 was a pain. It's easy, but it's a pain in the ass. Uh, this, this is just most of the mods, they just work. The only time I had like a lot of trouble was recently was with their recent update. But other than that, for the past year, I've never had any issues with any of the mods. All right, Cyber CMD, done. Input loader, I think, did I do this already? Oh, whatever. If I did, it'll just overwrite. Tweak XL. Archive XL. Mod settings. Highlight all. All the folders and just drag them. Okay. Uh, this is the... For me, this is a must-have. Here is the Let There Be Flight mod, and I have all of the necessary base prerequisites established already and installed, so I can basically install this. And it's like the same folders. Beautiful. Bike overhaul. All right. Okay, this is a uh, a red mod or whatever it's called because it has its mods folder here. So road patched okay i need seven zip for this but i'm just gonna all right appearance menu mod let me let me do that one real quick i'm um, spin a big one and what i do with these since they're zip files i'll just you know what i'll make a subfolder I don't have to name it anything. I'm just gonna click and drag a mod inside the folder, unzip it. Okay. And it's an archive, it goes to archive. See, it's the folders here already. But I, I used to do this shit. I, I think I showed you in the other, the previous video. I used to like literally go through each folder and look at everything and then click and drag but you don't have to do that especially with the amount of mods that i'm doing it's that's that's insane that just it's very tedious there we go that's it let me erase it and just to make sure it's there there i am with my ocd archive pc mod okay yep 
here it is. And throughout this tutorial, you're going to notice the archive PC mod, the mod folder here through this branch. It's going to fill up very large with a lot of stuff. So, yeah, it took me a year, a friggin' year, trial and error to do this. All right, let me do the custom body for Pan Am. Extract. Uh, I don't know where this one goes. Hold on a sec. Okay, archive, PC, mod. All right, I'll just drag it into... Judy clubwear outfit. Oh, this has two archive in a bin. You see this? All right, well. I'll just drag these two in there. Okay, that's it for that. Um, I have other shit here. You know what? Yeah, I might as well just... Yeah, alright. I'll finish the rest of these and I'm gonna test the game out. Alright. South Californian Badlands DLC. I think this goes into... Yeah, okay, I remember. This goes into the regular mods folder. I'm... I hope it does. Facial animations. I'm dying to see what this is like. There's two different sets, so I don't know. I didn't see him have a problem before, so all right, let me just. Mrs. Smasher's face, facial animations. All right, that's done. Next gen crowd. I'm going to leave these alone because I think that's why I was getting poor performance. Hot scenes next gen. You know, I gotta add that. Yeah, anything involving performance and draw distance boost, and I'm I'm not I'm not gonna mess with that shit. So I think that's what's screwing me up. So this is going. I'm gonna put this. Just drag this somewhere else. All right. In-world navigation, very, very cool mod. This is a must-have, for me at least, because it gets rid I don't need to use a map at all. And immersive time skip, very, very, very cool mod. Okay. Uh, let me make sure 
I have these saved. I'm going to look at my... Where is it? Alright, do I have this? Apparently not. Alright, you know what? I'm just gonna... That there. Oh, I didn't have them. That's weird. Okay, this one I had. Override, no problem. In world navigation. I had this. And. Immersive time skip. No, I didn't have that. Okay. Alright, that is done. So I'm gonna get rid of these. These these, these mods now are backed up into my um my external hard drive. So in case I need them later later on down the road. I have access to them. Yeah, I, just, I got a lot. Holy shit. Better explosions and fire. Let's see this. Hmm. Alright, I'll come back here. I should... I should test the game out first. Let me add just one more, uh, one of my favorite ones that I cannot live without, and that's the Blade Runner. Finer Rain, I'll add, and Final Cut. And this, this mod author, AK47OG, he uploads this all the time. Like, every time I come come back on the page, he has a new update. Animated t-shirt. What is this? I forgot about this. And I don't really need this. Okay. Um, ultimate prop mod. Oh, nice. All right, let me just. All right, take the. I'll take the final cut. I'll take the prop. I don't know if I need any of these. I'll just download all of them. All right. Now, seriously, I'm going to install these and then I'm going to come back. All right. Let me do the final cut first. And I know exactly where these these mods are gonna go. Um, anything with that ends in archive, you just follow the path archive, PC, and mod. Next. Oh, okay. 
This one goes... Okay. I'll start from Ben. The destination ready has a file named Vortex. Needs this. What? I don't know what that means, but... Plugins, cyber engine tweaks, mods, appearance menu mod, user, and decor. Oh. I hope it's going to be okay. We'll soon find out. All right, let me go back here. T shirt. so tedious but I don't know it's kind of relaxing to me though it's kind of fun actually well it's not fun when shit fucks up but <laughs> the process in itself is kind of therapeutic for me And I think I need finer rain. I thought I downloaded that, but apparently I didn't. Okay, I didn't. Yeah. Base game. Okay, this is the archive mod. And that is it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna start the game up. See if it goes through. Fingers crossed. And yeah, easy peasy guys. I shall be back. And then I'm gonna download some more mods. Alright, I'll see you in a few. Bye bye. All right, here we are. It's working. I tested. I tested the the game out actually um, earlier, and my recording friggin' stopped. So I recorded for nothing. I thought I was recording, but I didn't record shit. So uh, I stopped the game, and uh, I spent the past six hours now installing all the mods. So I, I have hundreds of mods installed, 
and it seems to be working okay i'm getting like mid 50s and this is a dense area sort of well it doesn't look that dense but uh in this game it's considered pretty dense so yeah you might see me kind of just stop briefly a little bit and that's because i'm looking under my hmd making sure my uh recording my obs is still recording because i don't know how that happened it just stopped earlier i'm i may have pressed something by mistake i don't know i haven't done that in a while so let's see i uh what did i do i removed oh wow Yeah, I added a whole bunch of stuff. A lot of stuff. But I just, more importantly, I decided to go back and remove the TAA and the screen space reflections and the bloom. And what I did is I went into my NVIDIA control panel and I enabled FXAA. So, I didn't like the way the game looked on TAA. It, it was just very blurry. Just, just There was something wrong with it. But, yeah, the game's good. The game's playable now. Not like before. Uh, my previous video was horrendous. I added a lighting mod that makes things darker a little bit. The hell? Yeah, you know, whatever. Um, what is the drop point? Okay, good. This is the time immersion mod. And basically what happens is... Uh, yeah, time will slowly dissipate. <laughs> I'm just distracted. Uh, anyways, yeah, it's it's a time it's a time mod, a time skip immersion mod, I think it's called, and it's set up in such a way that it functions just the way as uh, the the thing function in. Uh, Oh my god, I can't concert today. I'm like, I'm tired. I haven't slept for like, I've been up like, for like six, seven hours. I've been, I spent the past six or seven hours just modding, and I haven't slept at all. So, I, I can't get my thoughts together. My, so forgive me, my thoughts are incoherent right now. Uh, I was about to say, it's the same time uh, dilation thing, uh, just the same way as The Witcher, The Witcher Three worked. So yeah, you can basically skip time the same way. Or right, what? What am I supposed to do here? Sell, deposit. Okay, that was a gig. Answer. Mr. Gutierrez insisted on discretion. Perhaps you are not. Yeah, I think I like it better without the TA. But raising the alarm and discretion are not the same thing. Keep that in mind for the future. I am closing the contract. You are closing the contract? Okay, close it then. See if I care. Oh, another thing I added too in this is I added an actual, like, real true to life 24 hour clock. So a minute will pass by and it will be an actual minute, not an in game minute, but an actual real time minute. So, yeah, nights will last the same way it would normally would in, in real life, which is kind of cool. And I think that's perfect because in conjunction with the this mod, what was it, eight hours? Okay, it's perfect because if I want to speed up time, I'll just use this. I love that. That is so freaking cool. Oh, 
Let's see what time is it right now in New York. It's 7.19 a.m. So, yeah, actually, you know what? Oh, no, it's... Oh, that's weird. Yeah, make it 7.46. Yeah, I like the night, though. I like the night. But, yeah, it's... I don't know. I guess I'm just being a perfectionist. I'm, I'm noticing a lot of jaggies. Still, that's one thing I didn't like about removing the TAA in Bloom. I don't know. In some ways, it's better. In some ways, it's not. Let so, me. I like the night better. No, the time is it? It's okay. Uh, nine forty-six is good. Yeah, I want to see the lights. Just wish the skies were a bit darker at night. All right, let me. I need a car. Okay, this is the flashlight, by the way. I added a flashlight as well. I'm just like really distracted right now because I'm I'm trying to figure out where all the buttons are and what mods I have installed. And that's my car. Hey, where are you going? Seriously? Okay. Let's test out the Let There Be Flight. And it works already because I, I tried it. The in-world navigation is working. You notice I don't have a map in the upper right hand corner now which I love this I I, the, I always thought the map was very distracting see I added better vehicle handling so as usual I'll, I'll try to leave the links in the video description I also uploaded a lot of these mods to my Google Drive, so if anybody wants access to them, just, um, yeah, just, just go there. Or visit the Nexus, Nexus mods. Probably you should go there, though, because, I mean, I don't want, I don't want them to think that I'm, like, stealing their mods or anything. Although, I mean, the mods are free. I'm not, like, selling them or anything like that, but I don't know how that works. I like these real real life um, advertisements or advertisements in the game yeah this is really different for me just no map at all I love this Yeah, I added some extra radio stations like Dr. Disrespect Radio, was this Techno, um, a whole bunch of them. Let me see what this Techno thing's like. What? Okay. Let's try Disrespect Radio. <laughs> It's got like an 80s vibe to it. I don't know. I, I never. I heard about that guy, Doctor Dis Mister Doctor Disrespect, or something like that. But I don't really know much about him. I know he's like wildly popular. I, in, I think with the Call of Duty shit, but yeah, never got into it. All right, let me try the let. Let me try the flying mod. Can get an open area around here. 
Yeah, there you go. It, it's working. Sweet. Uh, something's going on here. Damn it, it's doing it again. My my view is locked. Shit. Something's conflicting. Yeah, my view is locked. My it's I'm I'm headlocked. All right, I gotta. It takes it takes a lot of practice to get used to. Uh... Shit, I can't I can't go forward. It's not going forward. Okay, I think this is what's happening. That's... I have the weapon pulled out. That could be... Conflicting. Alright, my... I can mic... I have a free look again now. You know what I'm gonna do? Let me get out of the vehicle. Alright, let me turn this music off. It's freaking annoying. I can't hear myself. I think. Right, I'm gonna get out of this vehicle. I'm gonna try. Oh, you see, really? All right, I'm going to get another vehicle. One of the. I'm gonna get the first vehicle that I usually get. Let me see what my fr oh my frames are horrendous again. Shit. Okay. Yeah, I'm not gonna add any more mods. I I, I went overkill again. Um. Okay, I think this is it. The Arundite Guinevere. Let me see what other vehicles I have. Oh, the Turbo. This is new. The Tech Arcadia. But you know, let me just check this one just in case. Yeah, here it is. I can fly around now. Yeah, he's doing that. I don't think I like this. Uh... Yeah, this this aiming from the car shit um, it's mod. It's. I mean, it's cool and stuff like that. See, damn. I'm gonna have to. I'm probably gonna have to adjust the mod. I might just turn it off for a while. Let me park here. Uh, going to the mod settings. Maybe I can turn it off from here. I hope I can. Wait. Okay. In world navigation. Oh, display mode. Walking. Always. Yeah, I can actually turn it on when I'm walking as well. That's cool. Alright, let there be flight. Wind volume. Drone enable. Automatic mode. Okay. Anti-gravity drone mode enabled. I don't know what that means. 
Fly mode? Obviously, yeah. Fly, hover, okay. Yeah, enable everything. I guess. I don't know. Just, I, I Yeah, there's way too many parameters here. I don't even know what all this stuff means. Enable auto activation. Uh, I don't know. Apply flight physics, physics when deactivated. Flight UI settings. No, you know what? I don't like the UI settings. Let me turn that off. Oh, shit. What did I do? Oh, no. Oh, hell no. All right, I'm back. Yeah, it crashed like two more times on me, but I figured out what was happening. Every, I'm, every time I'm trying to save my settings with the Let There Be Flight mod, when I'm in-game and I try to save the settings, for some reason I keep getting a crash to desktop, like, directly. But I figured out if I want to save my settings, I modified all the parameters that I want in the game before I start the game. So I would do it in the in the, in the main menu before I load a, a game up. And it it saved, so I'm, I'm okay. But uh, I'm gonna take a look at one of the crash logs and see what what's conflicting, what's causing the CTD. Because there is a mod out there that I downloaded and it's supposed to give you crash reports, so maybe I can learn something from it. All right, let me. All right, and perfect. Okay, this is what I wanted. I wanted to turn the HUD off when I'm flying around here. Well, there's a bit of a HUD, like right in the left-hand corner, but a majority of it is off though. So, yeah, I can. It looks good. Wow, it's pretty sharp. Not bad. Not bad. The color saturation is pretty good too. Yeah, as I was saying before, I found three mods that I'm, I'm using is I disabled the TAA and the screen space reflections, disabled the volumetric fog and bloom and I I'm definitely have a bit of performance uptick Yeah, I also, I enabled the FXAA from the NVIDIA control panel, so that could be helping as well with the aliasing, or I'm using that for anti-aliasing. Let me uncheck. Yeah. I don't need to. There you go. That's distracting. I don't want to see any icons. There you go. Now I'm fully immersed. Ah, that 
love this. This is so cool, man. I think I changed one of the logos on one of these buildings. Supposedly I did. I think I changed the logo on the Arasaka building. This is very calming. I like this. Nah, I could just look around here for hours. Yeah, this definitely looks hand tracking loss. I'm, I'm not using hand tracking. What the hell? Um, it. Yeah, it definitely looks better than uh, the TAA method. I'm glad I disabled the TAA. I don't know. I just, I just looks a lot better. I mean, there's there's some jaggies in a little bit, but I think the FXA is definitely minimizing that, that some of the jaggies. Yeah, it could be. It could definitely could be a lot worse. Getting 72. Nice. Alright, I think it's time to land. Land on the highway, maybe. Find a secluded little road. driving this freaking thing. I can't seem to... Come on. Lower. Lower. There you go. You got... It's very sensitive, the left stick. holograms throughout the city as well. Cycle. Why not? We get a motorbike. There it is. Uh, hmm. No, why would you do that? Get on the bike. 
added a mod where you could change the neon rims. I don't know how to do that. I think I might have to activate the uh, the cyber CET, whatever it's called, cyber engine tweaks. Okay, no station. Thank you. Close. this. Yeah, it's very 80s. Oh. The handling's really awkward on this. Maybe I'll do like one or two missions. So I don't like, why is this aiming radical? Oh no, how do I cancel this out? Oh well, I forgot. Damn it! I'm trying to bring up the weapon wheel. Oh, so much for that. It wasn't me. Oh, he's calling the cops. They're calling the cop caller. Stop the blood. Oh, there's no dismemberment. What the hell? Ooh, that's a lot of blood. Holy shit. Jesus Christ, that is messy. Can't bring him. 
Yo, I can't bring in my weapon mule. Yeah, I can't bring in my weapon wheel. Alright, let me look for... Uh, let me look for a quick uh, mission to do. Neutralize the target. Gun for hire. Okay. And I can't select. Okay. Can I select it? How is that dude doing? Why are you writhing on the floor, dude? Or how do I get over there? Hmm. Okay, here's the arrows. Let me follow this. Get row or something. Oh 
shit. Ready to get your ass beaten? <laughs> what the hell? Alright, where's my ammo? I'm not. Why is he T-posing? What the? I got no body now. Let me check my inventory. How much ammo do I have? No, I should have a lot of... I should have a shit ton of ammo. I'm just gonna start chucking grenades, man. Fuck that. An understatement. When he found out what tombs I keep. Yeah. My old man. Hold on. Try to get him now. Try to get him now. Asshole. English. What? Webo? Alright, why are they T-posing? Yeah, you are. 
Ooh, fucked her day up. No! You gotta be kidding me! Alright. I think that's... I'm gonna call it a night. Uh, let me load the last checkpoint. I'll, I'll just save it. But yeah, mods are working. I'm happy. Alright. I'm just, I just love this game. I'm just mesmerized by it. I'm, I always am. This is, this is awesome. Yeah, I'm, I'm like really overwhelmed right now. Elated, in fact. I'm, I'm happy that I can play the game at a, at a decent frame rate. So, alright. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. And I hope you found the tutorial helpful. If you did, just, uh, yeah. Leave, leave some comments and if you need any assistance with any any other mods or you want to make a tutorial in any other games then uh, yeah definitely let me know I'll be more than happy to, to help anybody who's stuck on getting their games to run because I mean that's pretty much all I do all fucking day so alright so take care everybody and hopefully I will see you in the next episode take care and goodbye